The Colleen Bawn has it all. It has great drama, it has great comedy, wonderful, wonderful characters. As I row her on the lake, the little fishes come up to look at her. And the winds of heaven lifts up her hair to see what on earth brings her down here at all, at all. You can see the roots of the comedy of people like the Marx Brothers, uh, the Three Stooges, uh, Charlie Chapman. You can see the roots of their comedy in Busico's comedy. I loathe and despise you. I've known that 15 years, but it hasn't cured my heartache. The play itself, of course, is a great ensemble piece. I mean, you have all these wonderful characters. They all have a very important role in this world. You get some exciting, sparky stuff going on on stage. Sit there! Look away from that door! Busico created magical theatre. I mean, I think he loved that. I think he loved people in the audience is going, oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing. And we want to sort of continue that spirit in our production. Well, Brian O'Lynn had no hat to put on, so he got an old beaver to make him a one that had none of the crown left and less of the brim. There'll be fine ventilation, said Brian Orlin. But what's to become of me? 